up guys welcome back to the redneck tv channel and today got another pointless vlog for you uh i haven't ate anything today give me some damn sausage and biscuits microwavable i guess i'll tell you what goes good with these Tropicana! no i'm kidding syrup <laughs> I hate this tripod! I need my daily morning milk chug. Oh my gosh, that was a lot of milk. Oh. <coughs> milk flip. Well, y'all, got a lot of various activities I want to get done today. I was thinking about going to the dump, but, you know, I've thought about it, and I've been to the dump way too many times on my vlogs. So I'm just going to skip out on that today. Hopefully, my landlord's wife doesn't come over here again and call me a drug dealer. I was saving some trash so I could take it off for a video, and then this lady comes over here, right? And she says, is that trash? And I'm like, yeah. And she says, it needs to be taken off. I'm saving it for a video, you know? I make YouTube videos, that's how I pay your rent. I didn't actually say that, that's what I wanted to say. I don't know why, but I just don't like talking about my YouTube channel to just everybody. But this girl literally comes over here. I tell her that I'm way too busy, you know? I'm inside working. And I told her if it's that big of a deal that I need to take my trash off as soon as it's made, that she can bring somebody over to my house and I'll hire them to take my trash off for me if it's that big of a freaking deal. Because this lady said, your yard looks disgusting and the only people on this road's yard are like that is drug dealers. Oh, okay, lady. I'm a drug dealer. Huh. Wow, that, that, that's, a, that's a really nice thing to say to your people living in the home that you own. And I'm not gonna lie, y'all. My, my yard is pretty clean. I literally had like three boxes and then my little trash can tote full of trash bags, which she couldn't even see because there's a lid on it. I just don't understand why this lady goes out of her way to tell me that I need to take my trash off that's been sitting there for two to three days. Like, lady, it's not your business. Literally every single person in this house before me has been a disgusting meth head and or slob. So why is this lady complaining? Every time rent's do. I hand them cash. No questions asked. I never give them any bullshit. Oh, I can't afford it right now. No, it's never that. It's always cash. I take care of this house. It's pretty well kept. And especially for me because, you know, my entire life, honestly, my room's always been a mess. So I'm just not really the cleaning type of dude. But still, I mean, it's kind of clean in here. But yet this lady feels the need to go out of her way to assert her dominance to let me know, oh, if you mess up anymore, Kenny, I'm going to kick you out. Is this what this lady's wanting to do? Does she want me to fear her? Does she literally think I'm so hopeless without this trailer? Like, oh, oh gosh, lady, no. Uh, I, I need this cheap rent to survive, lady. Please don't kick me out. Like, girl, oh, what the heck? I could literally buy this trailer cash right now. But I don't. You know why? Because it's a piece of fucking shit. I'm literally only living here to save money, but yet these people have to treat me like I'm trailer trash because I live in their disgusting home. Nah, honestly, this lady, she's probably just really bored and she doesn't have a lot of shenanigans to bitch about, so just she just wanted to find something just because she was having, you know, a boring day, you know. So she just wanted something to bitch about. But if I'm called a drug dealer again, I've made it clear to myself that I'm going to move the hell out of this house. I'm not going to be disrespected for doing nothing wrong. Honestly, who, who the hell else is going to live in a trailer right here? Ten feet away from the parkway, the walls are falling down, it, it's, a, it's, it's a piece of crap trailer. Who else is going to live here? Meth heads, slobs. That, that's the only people that's going to move into this house. So why are they not happy that some normal person that's actually kind of clean lives here. Oh, I'd be pissed too. Ah! Ah! All right, I need to quit ranting. I'm getting too mad. I'm about to eat this orange real quick. Peel it like a penis. <laughs> Damn it, they don't even look like a pecker. Little ass dick, big ass nuts. Yeet! <laughs> I'm gonna find a jacket, y'all. Put these oranges in our pockets for later. All right, see you later, meow meow. We're gonna get you some food. I know the bastard's deaf, but I mean, hell. Why not make the little f***er's existence kind of happy while he's on this earth? Oh, this is nice. So I guess the damn possum got into my trash. Toss this crap in the back of the truck, I guess. Nope. Well, y'all, I have a smokeless meth addiction. So, if you partake, then please. There's my landlord. Hopefully, he's not going to come over here and call me a drug dealer. <laughs> you ain't got one in. Pack one with me, y'all. 
Speaking to my landlord and them, ever since they called me a drug dealer, every time they drive by or I drive by, we never make eye contact. So I guess all respect between us have been lost, which doesn't bother me at all because I've shown these people nothing but respect. I've done everything my dad's taught me. Yes, sir. No, sir. Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. Very polite. Always going out of my way to offer them things. Like, oh, you know, I can fix this. I can put this in here. Of course, they never accepted it, but still, I mean, I offer. But yet, they feel the need to call me a drug dealer because there's some boxes sitting outside my house for two days. <laughs> But, I mean, really, who could blame them? I'm literally sitting outside by myself, and I'm screaming at the top of my lungs to a camera. What do they think about me right now? I, I know they're watching me, and I just don't care anymore. Finally, I've came to the conclusion that, hey, in this world, nobody cares. If I were to do something like, I don't know, wear skinny jeans and red shoes, somebody's like, ugh, you're a homo, man. Why should I let that comment affect because in reality, he doesn't really care. Do you think the very next day when he wakes up in the morning, he's going to think to himself, oh yeah, I remember that dude yesterday wearing skinny jeans and red shoes. What a queer. No, he probably already forgot it. Do you know why? Because he doesn't care. Nobody cares, man. I mean, I'm sorry to break it to you, but nobody in this world cares. Nobody. I mean, I guess this is how it be. They don't say it be like it be, but it do. All right, y'all. I, I don't know if y'all have ever heard this sound before. I have not. All right. Left signal. You know, it's blinking fast. And it's blinking fast because my front uh, signals aren't hooked up. I'm a lazy sack of crap, so I have not even like took the little signals out, plugged in the connector and put them back in. I'm that lazy. So yeah, she's blinking fast, but listen to the right one. I wonder if it lights up the right signal. Hold up, let me start my truck. It's cold as hell. Anyway. The green arrow lights up. Ain't got no signal back here, boy. Let me hop in here and talk to y'all for a second. I've never seen a problem like that before. Like, I never in my life have I ever, like, seen a vehicle. When you turn the turning signal, it goes. I mean, really, the only time I've ever messed with any problem with a turning signal was that Ford changed a bunch of turning signal bulbs at Ford and fuses and whatnot and flashers. So, I mean, really, well, uh, out of those three, what else could it be? I've just never heard the <laughs> sound. I mean, that's just new to me. I'm gonna put this inside real quick. Big shout out to my dad. Hooked me up with this bad A picture of Josie Wales going in the office. Picture originally came from my pops. That's who bought it. Then my dad got it and then dad passed it to me. So, I reckon someday I'll pass it down to my son. All right, I'm gonna match y'all up here. Yes, I know I need to clean my truck. If this log don't turn out to be too long, I'll probably do that at the end. I'm gonna see if my brake lights work, y'all. Find something to stick. I guess this little spring thing. I used to use it as a workout thing when I was little. I press my brake pedal. Okay, so uh, my brake light doesn't work either. Might be a flasher of some sort. Or maybe something's corroded back there. I don't know. But I'm sure if I tinker with it for about an hour or so, I'll eventually find out. That's not what this vlog is about. I gotta buy the cat some food. I'm gonna drive out here, get the cat some cat food. And I'm gonna run by Rural King and get some truck cleaning supplies. Cause eventually I wanna clean this truck up on the inside. Cause it is disgusting. There's mud caked up all over the dash and the door panels. Carpet's muddy. It's not a clean truck. I also need to pay my water bill. So, uh, dang it. Gotta turn around. Freaking forgot my water bill on the freaking kitchen table. Mud jug I'm spitting in today is my very own mud jug. RNTV. Hack one with me, y'all. Mud jug. So if you enjoy my content and you want to support me and continue to see what I'm doing, go ahead and stop by mudjug.com. Pick this mud jug out. Oh yeah, and also, I'm wearing my merch today. I have very high quality clothing items that can potentially increase the male genitalia in size by 50%. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and stop by rntvshop.com. Pick you out some shirts. Thanks. Mm. Mm. How the heck am I gonna pull in here with that truck in the way? Why park there? So people can't turn into the freaking cash dispensary. Withdraw some cold hard earned cash. So yeah, if you're wondering how I make money, I just go to this cash dispensary, right? I stick this piece of plastic in that machine back there. I punch in a number and it comes out. I mean, isn't that crazy? It's just stupid. All these people saying, oh my gosh, I ain't got money for all that. Well, why don't you just go to the little electronic machine there, stick in your plastic and type in a number. <laughs> That's all you got to do to make money, man. Whoa! 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 Got a little excited there. electric bill 
sale yesterday. Freaking $300. Well, why? Why does it cost $300 for one person to live in a trailer for a month? I don't leave lights on or nothing. Honestly, I think it's the insulation in that trailer. It's awful. There's literally a hole in my bedroom wall that you can see outside through. I just put a few strips of duct tape over it. So yeah, that's probably why my electric bill is so high. We file taxes. <laughs> Hell, get your ass over here then, boy. I don't know how to do that. My first year ever making money from YouTube, but I guess like schools and all that, they don't think it's necessary to teach kids that taxes are actual thing in society that you have to worry about. I have no knowledge on taxes and I'm about to have to pay in 30% of my income. You know how stressful that is for me? No, it ain't that bad. I don't want y'all to worry or nothing. Just if you truly are worried about me, go ahead and head over to rntgi.com. You know, you can help me out. <laughs> All right, but we're at Roll King right now. I'll get back to y'all in a minute. Got y'all a little present. Not really y'all, but I've gotten so many complaints. Dude, why does your steering wheel look like that? I don't know if y'all can see it from this angle, but you know, like it's real chipped up. A bunch of places right here, the foam's ripped out. Yes, they, those are bite marks, I'm not gonna lie. I think I was bored one day and I was just like kind of chewing right there. Then eventually just, I think I bit it off. I don't even know when, I, I think I did this like two years ago when I was drunk at a party or something. I, I don't remember. But I'm gonna fix that for y'all once and for all. I bought this dang steering wheel cover. Ducks and Limited. Yeah, I know I don't duck hunt. But we're still gonna slip her on. One size fits all my ass. Since when is leather supposed to be a stretchable compound? Ugh. All right, so maybe that looks a little better so now i got this steering wheel cover on looks more presentable for y'all dash is still busted up in the middle i looked on ebay and that part right there is like 150 bucks so i'll probably buy that sooner or later just because i mean heck why, why not but anyways i'm gonna show y'all what i got some cleaning wipes some protectant wipes and then some glass wipes so i can make sure my shattered windshield looks nice and clean and then we got some tough stuff multi-purpose foam cleaner for my truck carpets then we got this food because maybe it'll inspire my cat to start making mixtapes hopefully you don't burn my trailer down i'm gonna go pay my water bill i know y'all are nosy bastards so I'll go ahead my water bill is only 33 bucks that's pretty cheap i think i'll get back to y'all when we're at the house all right y'all we're back at the house i know i know need to power wash this nasty thing but i don't have a power washer i'll probably probably buy one sooner or later and make a video cleaning my house. I gotta give this cat some food. He's been surviving on tuna since yesterday. Don't want him to get addicted to tuna again. You want some food, meow meow? Yeah, you want that food, don't you? Uh-huh. Get you some gains, meow meow. Okay, so this is my disaster of a vehicle. Kick around. Do we need this in this vehicle? Is it necessary? No. Eat! This little spring thingy. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Do we need this? No. I'm gonna actually put this jacket on. All I know is that this jacket's got this fuzzy stuff on it. And no matter what temperature it is, you will sweat in this. I'm gonna slap her on. I can already feel the warmth. This is a great shirt, man. Thanks, Lexi. Love you, girl. Even though you probably won't see that because you don't watch my videos. <laughs> Digital Voltamy. Big old trash bag here. Meow, meow, what are you doing out here? Get your ass in my truck. I don't want you getting your feet muddy. Well, I think this is the remote to my radio. But honestly, who needs a remote for the radio? Redness and itchy eye relief. I'm pretty sure if I put this in my eye, I might get eyeball cancer. Dark red touch-up paint. Doesn't even match anyway. Here's my freaking ratchet, dude. Happy graduation. I haven't even opened this yet. There's a bunch of firecrackers in here. I wonder if they work. I think all these got wet or something. Focus. I'm gonna take my back seat out. Okay, so a bunch of french fries spilt in my truck and I found like hundreds of these moldy french fries. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Anybody want a moldy Cheeto? <laughs> all right, y'all. I just got every single bit of trash out of my truck. I went through all the pockets on the door panels and the center console and glove box and under the seats. There's, just, there's no trash in this truck. But anyways, this is all the trash I've gotten out. Oh, yeah. That's an unreasonable amount of trash to have in your vehicle. And that's not even including all the jackets and all the stuff I didn't throw away that I had in my truck. But anyways, y'all, I'm going to go inside a little bit. I've been cleaning this truck up for like an hour getting cold so i'm gonna warm up a little bit and then we'll come back out here with the shopping back 
<laughs> I ate a blog in this sandwich. Hopefully I can vacuum out all this crap. It is getting kind of dark, so I'm gonna try to make it kind of quick, so it's not gonna be a super detailed job. Y'all want to hear? I'm gonna show y'all. I about asked the camera if y'all wanted to see. But yeah, all through here you can see disgusting filth. More filth back here. A lot of filth on my end. But we're gonna get her taken care of. <laughs> get the idea i'm vacuuming there's no need of me keeping this video going for 40 more minutes so i'll just turn y'all back on when i'm done vacuuming Woo! we're done vacuuming landlord's wife was just parked down there watching me for like 20 minutes she probably thinks i'm on meth because i'm cleaning out my truck real good but we're gonna spray down my seats and all my carpet with this stuff we're just gonna spray it everywhere let it sit and then i'll wipe it up with the rag and you know, I know this ain't gonna get the stains out or nothing, but it'll just make the carpet smell real good. This can does not spray. That's my luck. The one can in the store that's probably bad, I buy. Honestly, I wanna split this thing in half with an ax and just pour it all over my carpet and get done faster that way. All right, y'all, I just sprayed the whole truck down. Let it soak a little bit, then I'm gonna wipe it all up. But I'm just gonna go ahead and turn the camera off and I'll turn it back on when I've put everything together. I'm gonna clean the floor mats real good. I'll get back to y'all when I'm done. Ah, oh, all right, y'all. I cleaned it up pretty good, but it got super dark on me and I got real lazy. So I didn't really get all the mud out of it, but I'll probably do that another day. But it's a lot cleaner than it was. Go ahead and show y'all. Get my phone flashlight. Bam! Let's get these mud jugs out of here. We'll stick these up yonder. Yeah, I mean, you can see the carpets, you know, a lot cleaner. Smells really good, too. Nothing under my seats. Jumper cables. It's all, all the mud was wiped off up here. I wiped all the mud off the door panel. Cleaned out these pretty good. Wiped this door panel. Oh, yeah, I cleaned off the dashboard really good, too. But, yeah, as you can see, this is where I got lazy. I got lazy down here. But, I mean, under here, bam. Look how spotless that is. It's never looked like that. Yeah, and I cleaned this door panel off a little. That's really all I did to it. it took me like... I'd say three hours, maybe a little longer, maybe three and a half, four. It really took a lot of scrubbing to get all that mud out of the carpet, dude. And I've used an entire roll of paper towels, a roll and a half. But anyways, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. Oh, I'm going in my room. Oh my goodness. It's just real warm in here. This is the only room in the house with decent insulation. Probably because I covered the hole up with duct tape. But if you like this video, give me a big old fat thumbs up. Can a dude get 5,000 likes on the video? I mean, that'd be much appreciated if we could. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Like seriously, man. You take advantage of all the free entertainment I supply you, but yet you're not considerate enough to take 0.5 seconds out of your day to hit the sub button? Well, gosh, just hit the sub button. That's all you gotta do, man. Thanks. Follow me on Instagram, redneck.tv. Add me on Snapchat, rntv underscore 15. But I'll catch you next time on the Redneck TV channel. Later.